Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 2D Fundamentals. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we discussed how to build ourselves in, in traditional sense, how to build ourselves a double pendulum. Uh, we took a look at the concepts of arcs, uh, and we took a look at the concepts of follow-through and, and overlapping action, uh, two of uh, the 12 principles of animation. In today's episode, guys, I'd like to take a look at building that particular assignment in Spine. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, this is a brand new project. Uh, I've already imported the stuff from Photoshop here. I've got myself the pendulum and this secondary pendulum already all set up. Uh, I have, I've just imported it, excuse me, I haven't set it up yet. I'm gonna go through now and do the setup uh, to build myself the appropriate bones. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll just go in here and create. And we're gonna, uh, with root selected here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna add our first bone. And our first bone is gonna go right, let's say right here. I'll make it right here, uh, right there in our on our pendulum. All right, and let's rename this bone. Uh, let's rename this bone to um, to uh, CNT underscore uh, large uh, pendulum. Pendulum is fine. All right, okay. Uh, with large pendulum still selected, I'm going to add another bone, and I want to add it in the. Let's get out of create for a second here. Uh, I want to add it right at the top of this particular location, uh, so I can see where it is. If I if I just click on the small pendulum, uh, I can see where this this blue line is right here, right now. All uh, right, right at this this apex right here is where I want to build this. Uh, so I'm going to go back to create. And with my with my control large pendulum selected, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to hope that this is right because I think it was right about here. Boom! Let's hope that's right. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be close enough, close enough for our, what we're doing anyway. And you can see now that I've created the bones in a hierarchy. The root is controlling the, the large pendulum, and this next one we'll rename to CNT small pendulum. All right, okay. Now, uh, that's gonna allow us to have the appropriate control structure. What I wanna do now, I'll get out of create because I'm not gonna create any more bones. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna go drag my large pendulum onto my control large pendulum, and I'm gonna grab my small pendulum and drag it and drop it onto my small pendulum. Now, what that gives me is an appropriate uh, structure to be able to animate this. Uh, that's not exactly right, but you know what? It's going to be close enough, and I'm not gonna worry about it right now. <laughs> Once again, guys, like always, I am using the trial version. Uh, I do have the professional version on my on my laptop here on my desktop. I've only got the trial version, and it's only for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to do this once. Uh, I can't save it, so keep your fingers crossed I get it right the first time. All right, guys? So with that done, we've got ourselves a control structure, and I think we can head on over into animation to start animating this particular loop. Okay guys, uh, sorry about that. Here we are in the animation screen. Uh, I've got a cold today and uh, I'm coughing, uh, so I frequently have to stop, go back and, and restart some stuff. So there's gonna be a couple of, of weird cuts, <laughs> unfortunately, in this video. Anyway, uh, we've got our large pendulum and small pendulum set up. Uh, we're in the animate screen. Uh, what I wanna do is set up our, I wanna set up our loop. And I think this entire loop, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna set this up. I got rotate going here. Uh, I'm going to set this up to, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say 305. 305, all right? And 305 is going to be our, is going to be our top position for our large pendulum. That's the apex of our large pendulum. Let's say this entire thing is going to be just a little over a second, let's say 40 frames. So I'm going to key this again here. All right, and that means that halfway, so somewhere around 20, uh, I can put in a value of the 6, 360 minus uh, 55. I can put in 55 here and I can key it. Boom. All right, and that should get us a swing. Okay, good. It does. Uh, we've got ourselves a loop there, uh, and obviously it's a very mechanical loop. Uh, this thing, it looks like it's hitting hard edges here on the side. It looks like it's, it's hitting something, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We want this thing to have a natural swing, so it has to have a, a slow out of its position and a slow into this position and a slow out of this position and a slow into the next one. All right, so let's take a look at how to do that. Let's go into our rotate right here into our into our keyframe. And right now, as expected, we've got ourselves a we've got ourselves a linear uh, a linear uh, curve here. And we're going to turn on our beziers. And 
let's just do that for both of them right now. Let's just turn on our bezes for both of them and see how that looks. I don't think it's going to be enough, and we can go through and adjust it. Eh, you know, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. That doesn't look anywhere near as mechanical. We've got a nice slow in and a slow out. I could go through and adjust these so I get a little bit more speed or something on the inside. It, it's it's going to be up to you guys. I won't bother doing that because I won't waste my time. I don't think anyone wants to watch me do the little tiny nit bitty animation stuff. So let's just go through and do the, the, the broad strokes. All right, so that looks pretty good. We've got ourselves a slow out. Uh, sorry, a slow out of this position and a slow into our next frame. Our first frame was this position, our second frame was this position, and we want to slow into both of them, or slow out of both of them, all right? So we got the same thing here. This works perfectly fine for this particular thing. I won't change it. So with that being said, with that the way it is, I think what we'll do is we'll start working on our, our small pendulum now, our secondary pendulum. So let's go over here and we will select our control pendulum, our, our, our control for our small pendulum, and we can start making adjustments to it. So let's go back to zero here. And we don't know the exact location of where this is going to be just yet. We know that it's not at its apex yet. It, it, our small pendulum is not at its apex yet, but it's moved into that position. We discussed this last week, or last episode I should say, where we, where we moved, the, the pendulum is starting to move up in this direction at a, at a fairly rapid rate. Uh, it's still following through its swing. All right, so let's add a little bit of rotation to our our base pendulum here. Let's just add a little bit. Let's add it like this. Let's, that's maybe enough. It might not be. I don't know. All right, and let's go across to here. And at 40, I'm going to key it again so we've got ourselves a loop. Now, how this is going to work. As it goes to across like this, uh, right about here is the midway point. I'm going to actually add a more drag to it. So this this is actually starting to drag along. That's at its maximum drag. You can see how I've got it kind of moving there. We could actually have it going a little more like this if you want. If you want to go a little faster to start off with, that's fine. At about five, maybe I'll add a little bit more. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. All right. All right, that's probably pretty good. So we've got ourselves a little bit more drag as it hits its apex. It's following along. It comes into here, and at this point here, it is going to start swinging forward. So at 20, it should already be over here somewhere. Let's say right about here. Boom. All right, it's swinging across the other way. It's gaining momentum. The other pendulum is slowing down. I don't want to go quite this fast. I can either adjust it through manipulation of the keys like this, or I could do it through manipulation of the of the curves, and I don't know which one's better. That doesn't look so bad. The same thing is going to occur on the other way back, so as it comes backwards at about 30, it's going to be at a pretty high point. Let's give it some oomph, maybe about there. At 5, I'm going to give a little more swing so it's moving upwards at a little quicker rate. Bam, 25, so 30, I'll give it a little bit more now. Key it. And by the time it hits here, it's going to be all the way back to there. All right, let's take a look at that. So this side here looks like it hits pretty hard. This side here looks like it hits pretty hard. We could go in now. Once we've got it, we can see how hard that hits. Uh, it's this one here. Uh, it, it hits pretty hard here, so what we could do is we could grab this key and we can actually go in and set it so we've got ourselves a smooth in in that position. Let's take a look at that. That'll give us a nice slow in, all right? And on this one here then, we're going to have a nice slow out until it gets going at its appropriate rate, all right? And let's take a look at that. There we go. That's how easy that was. I'm not going to go through and adjust it further. Uh, the timing on this is a little bit odd. It looks a little bit mechanical still. We could go in and we could play with the curves, I think, of the of the large pendulum and get an even smoother effect. But I think this looks pretty well as it is. All right, guys, that's it. That's how quickly this one is able to do. Able to do it very, very fast here in a in a 2D package. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, let me know. It's still hitting pretty hard over here. This entire thing could be adjusted a little bit. I don't like how hard it's hitting. I think it's, it's moving too much. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to get nitpicky, and you guys are trying to get out of here and do this work yourself, but I move it a little less. But uh, it's hard as an animator to see stuff you don't like. 
That's still hitting too hard. All right, I'm not going to screw with it. <laughs> I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me play with it. Anyway, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know down below. Um, I love to hear from you guys. I love to see what you guys are doing. Uh, so if you want to take a few minutes and and hand me a or, or give me a file of some kind, like put up a, a video of some kind that I can see, that would be wonderful. I always like to see that kind of stuff from you guys. I love to see exactly what you're thinking and what you're doing. All right, guys, I'm going to slow this down. This might be too much. I'm doing broad strokes now, which is never good. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, let me know down below. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a link to your stuff. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. All right? Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.